What up, gang? Back from Memorial Day weekend. Everybody enjoy their weekend? I enjoy mine. I know a couple of y'all keep up with me on Instagram. Hey, uh, for y'all that don't follow me on Instagram, put it right there. Right there. Follow me on Instagram. Some of y'all do. One guy told me the other day, he said, I see you really living life. I ain't I, I wouldn't say I'm living life, man. I'm just I'm just trying to do I just I'm just trying to do the right thing. Right now I'm about to send my uh, empty card. I ain't gonna send it yet, but I'm gonna get it ready to send it. They got a crane unloading me right now. I got some kind of um construction materials. They're building a, a brand new um uh, sheriff's office. So I got some construction materials. They unloading me right now. Hey, I've been seeing a lot. Of, I've been seeing a lot of stuff on Facebook about uh, truck, about different different truckers from different companies. They they got stuck over the weekend. They didn't have, uh, they, they couldn't deliver anywhere because it was it was a holiday weekend and, and nobody was open. I've seen a lot of people talking about that on Facebook and complaining about, you know, this and that, this and that, complaining about it. My company left me hanging. I'm not getting layover pay. Oh, yada, yada. Hey, and, and then I see the people that comment back and are telling them, like, you know, that's all part of the truck driving game. So I don't know. I haven't. I I was home for Memorial Day weekend, so I can't I can't even put myself in that same category. But you know, it could have been it could have been the same way around. I could have been stuck. I could have been stuck at a uh, truck stop over the weekend. But see, think about the company I'm at. Uh, we don't have forced dispatch, and Thursday. No, Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Let's see. Yeah, it was Wednesday. I dropped the load off uh, in Atlanta. Uh, Scottsdale, Georgia, right outside Atlanta. Uh, it's in Decatur. I dropped the load off. I got empty. Uh, my dispatcher called me, and she was like, yo, um, I got a load. I got I got two load offers for you. And one of, one of them went to, one of the load offers was going to Missouri, and one was going to Ohio, and they both delivered on Friday. It was it was Wednesday. They both delivered Friday, and she was like, you know, if you take these loads, it's 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 gonna be like a ninety percent chance that you're not gonna make it home for the weekend because I was would have been going too far west. So she was like, it's up to you. What you want to do? I said I don't want to take neither one of those. So uh, she told me to just go ahead and start deadheading. So I think she told me to go to Cartersville. So she told me to dead head to Cartersville. So I started heading that way. She was like, dead head to Cartersville, you can get, get a preload in the morning. So I'm like, all right, start dead heading to Cartersville. Before I get to the exit to go to Cartersville, she called me back. She said, I want you to dead head to Birmingham. I want you to pick up a load on the yard. She was like, just go ahead and head that way. I'll get you the load information a little later. So that's the load that I did when I made the happy, well, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. That was that, was that load. So, that's where that forced dispatch comes into play. I didn't have to take neither one of those loads. The one going to Missouri, the one going to Ohio. I didn't have to take neither one of them. Because, I don't have forced dispatch. <laughs> hey, sometimes, but sometimes it is forced. Sometimes it is. Because like right now, this next load I got, I didn't get an option. I only got one load available. It, came, it popped up on my Transflow app while I was driving. And uh, I, I saw it, and I was like, okay. I'm like, because they usually don't send you a load before you get empty, unless it ain't nothing else available in your area. So, I mean, it's the middle of the week. Hey, I mean, I'm pretty much, I, I'm not being picky over where I'm going right now because sometimes, sometimes you got to take what they offer you, but sometimes you don't. And that's what y'all guys got to do, man. If you feel like that company ain't working for you, Hey, go ahead and think of an alternative route. There's no point. It's no point complaining about you didn't make it home for Memorial Day. 
you sitting at a truck stop, but well, guess what? You got 4th of July coming up. You got Labor Day coming up. You got like two or three months to figure out what you want to do. Are you going to put in a hometown request to make sure that you're home during that during that weekend? And whatever company y'all are at now, I seen guys talking talking uh, U.S. Express. I seen those guys talking junk. Of, of course, I seen the Mountain guys talking junk, and and that was really about it. U.S. Express, um, Mountain. I can't think of no other company that stood out. People that were talking junk, like people that are like thousand like a thousand miles from home. We couldn't get home because they didn't have a load heading that way. So now, okay, now like I said, you got July coming up. You got uh, 4th, of, 4th of July, Independence Day. You got uh, Halloween, if you want to be home for Halloween. <laughs> y'all got to figure out what y'all want to do. Y'all going to let the company work you? Or you want to make, make your own decisions? I'm having fun doing what I'm doing. After I smoke this cigarette, I'm going to get out and see if I can show y'all a little bit of this crane. And my next load I'm picking up is going to be a load of insulation. I haven't, I haven't hauled that in a while. I haven't hauled insulation since um, I was at Melton. And I went. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop the video link down in the description. When I took a load up to uh, Gillette Stadium, I'm going to drop that down in the description y'all that haven't seen that but I really don't think I showed any securement on it I think I might have showed me unsecuring it but I don't think I showed them un though me actually securing it but it's still a pretty good video well just sent a motorcycle ride by all right gang check in later